Hi, I'm Dan Spiller, and over the course of these videos I'll be showing you everything you need to know to make high detailed models like the ones I made here in Tinkercad. These models are for a game called Droid Storm, where you draft parts, build robots, then battle with them in an arena. It's awesome! So look for it this winter, 2021, on Kickstarter! For those of you new to my videos, please check out my previous video, Advanced Tinkercad Tips in 5 Minutes Part 1, before continuing onwards. Now let's begin. Section 1. The importance of keeping your project divided into sections. Since most of your projects will be a combination of many shapes, it's best to keep your project divided into small, grouped sections rather than one big one. Sections are easier to pull out and change, and you can use the Shift plus arrow key function to remove and put the altered objects exactly where you took them from. If you are unsure of the changes you want to do, you can duplicate the desired section and move it out to experiment on. Experimentation is key here. Keep making variations until you are happy enough to move on. Section 2. How to use compound shapes to round shapes and add slopes. Rounded shapes, slope sides, and complex 3D edges are formed by a two or more step process. To round basic objects, first create a sphere hole and combine half of it with a square. Then take the new shape and turn it into a hole. You can place this new shape over a piece to round it. To make steeper slopes, stretch the hole. To make flatter ones, compress it. When rounding objects, you can also experiment using cones and cylinders. To create slopes on round objects, you can also use the bevel function and stretch or cut the object. You can also use the duplicate function to split an object into sections so you can alter different parts of it. To add slopes to edge objects with equal sides such as triangles, squares, and octagons, the fastest way is to use the pyramid shape. Set the sides to the correct number and cut its top off. Now stretch or compress it to get the approximate angle you want. To add slopes to a rectangle, First remember that a rectangle is just a stretched square. Start with a square, then stretch it to the desired dimensions. Once you can make rectangles and squares, you can combine these types of shapes to make more unique shapes. To add slopes and curves to complex objects, first separate the objects into their smaller pieces and slope each section individually before recombining them. I find it's best to start a project with a sketch made from basic shapes, and then replace the pieces in each section with more complex ones rather than chiseling out the whole thing from a solid block. There is another more complex way of adding slopes to edge objects with equal sides that I will cover in my next video. It can be used to add precise angles, details, and create complex patterns. Section 3. Making your own high definition shapes. Tinkercad shapes are decent, but sometimes you'll want something smoother. Notice that when you zoom in, these shapes use square or rectangular cuts to define them. The bigger the shape, the more noticeable these cuts are. To make a smoother cone or cylinder, first make sure it's at its highest number of steps, then duplicate the object and horizontally rotate the new shape by 5 degrees. This will double the number of edges on the object, giving it a smoother look. You can further smooth the object by combining both objects, duplicating those, then rotating one of the sets 2.5 degrees. You can keep repeating these steps to make shapes smoother, rotating the new objects half the previous amount each time, but doing so is graphic intensive and can cause slowdown. Personally, I stop at groups of four. Unlike cones and cylinders, spheres have no bottom and require their entire surface to be smoother. To make a smoother sphere, first make sure it's at its highest number of steps, then duplicate it and rotate the new shape horizontally 5 degrees. Notice that this splits the squares into rectangles, which only smooths the shape horizontally. To smooth them vertically, group then duplicate both shapes twice. Rotate the first new pair 90 degrees on the vertical axis and the second new pair 90 degrees on the Z axis. This is usually enough smoothing, but it's not perfect. To make an extremely detailed sphere, first make sure the shape is at its highest number of steps, then duplicate and rotate the new object 5 degrees on both the horizontal and vertical axis, then duplicate it 45 times. If done correctly, the object will replicate all the changes to each duplication, covering the whole shape. Section 4. How to mirror and connect model faces. When working with symmetrical sides or parts, always complete one side, then mirror it to complete the other. 
Working on both sides at once takes more time and it's much harder to adjust both sides manually. You also risk missing parts or placing them unevenly. Once you have a completed side, cut off any unwanted bits from the unfinished side, starting with the model center. Next group and duplicate any remaining shapes, then double the length towards the missing side. Now mirror them, then half their length again, away from the first finished side. Double check to make sure there aren't any gaps or mistakes, then group both halves. Perfect. In my next video called Advanced Tinkercad Tips in 5 Minutes Video 3 Maximizing Details, you will see advanced techniques such as using extreme duplications to add details, the practical mindset behind redesigning basic shapes into detailed pieces, the introduction to high detailed additions known as greebles. For exclusive models and articles, please support me on Patreon, link in the description below. If you found this video useful, please like it. If you have any questions or comments, I like those too. Yes, you can commission me for consulting, designing, and even mailing you custom prints. I hope to hear from you all soon.